Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Banerjee. In this video, we are going to talk about the DHR ICMR BRET exam syllabus. Uh, what are the syllabus components of ICMR BRET examination? Now the syllabus name has been changed. Uh, earlier it was ICMR GRF, now it is DHR ICMR BRET exam syllabus. So the syllabus here uh, is a little bit tweaked and modified, but largely if you follow CSN and Life Science syllabus, uh, this DHR ICMR BRET syllabus have components from that only because the CSI net life science syllabus is the largest and biggest of all and portions from that is cut out into the ICMR BRET syllabus. So let's start. There are three sections of the ICMR BRET examination, section A, B and C. All three sections are compulsory now and section A is aptitude and reasoning section. 50 questions will be from this section, total 50 marks one mark for each question. So the syllabus goes like <clears throat> the aptitude, so it has uh, different questions from this particular syllabus that evaluate your overall reasoning and analytical skills like the reasoning comprehension, reading comprehension, understanding and interpreting uh, different passages, reasoning ability means deductive logic, data interpretation, verbal and non-verbal reasoning will be there as a part of it. Analytical abilities will be checked with systematic data analysis and logical inference. Quantitative ability, numerical and graphical interpretations, calculation and comparisons will be checked. Quantitative comparison, evaluate relationships between quantities uh, logically will be tested. So these are all so in very simple words, I would suggest that basically in CSI net part A, that section is very similar to the section A of ICMR BRET examination, where we have question related to data interpretation, graph and other data interpretation. There will be question related to the uh, surface area volume, question to the work and time, question related to uh, all this height and distance age problem, calendar problem, train problems, okay, uh, percentage calculation, probability. So all these problems will be there in this section 1 or aptitude section of ICMR bread syllabus. Next is section B. Now from section B, you have some subjective questions. Section B and C both composed of subjective questions. Section B is compulsory subjective question from all the disciplines of life sciences, where section C will be uh, specialized so you get to choose which subject you want to attend the exam in section C. So in section B is compulsory, section C is also compulsory but in section C you can choose the discipline but in section B you cannot. It is compulsory that you answer question from all disciplines. Cross disciplinary question 50 questions, one mark each, total 50 marks. These are fundamental topics common to all life science disciplines. Molecular basics of cell changes or cellular changes, cell biology question, cell membrane, cell structure, cell organelle question, cytoskeleton question, cell structure and function, communication signaling growth reproduction, physiological processes of the body is very important, genetic inheritance and genomics, origin of life and evolution, biotechnological processes, techniques and applications, biosafety and bioethics both are apart from biotechnology candidates, innate and adaptive uh, immunity, immunology questions, common infectious agents like bacteria, virus, fungi and other parasites. So these questions are from microbiology questions. So you can see that in this section B you have question from cell and molecular biology, you have question from genetics, you have question from physiology, you have question from uh, zoology that is uh, evolution, you have question from biotechnology, you have question from microbiology immunology. So all these interdisciplinary subjects will be tested for your knowledge. Okay. Next the section C subject specific section where you can choose the subject for you. You can choose subject like biochemistry. They will ask question only from biochemistry. You can choose immunology. They will ask question only from immunology. Yeah. You can choose microbiology. They will, they will ask question only from microbiology. So you can choose your subject. 20 questions. Uh, 50 questions, sorry, and 50 marks, one mark per question. And here we have the list of disciplines. You have microbiology, 
as a discipline where you have bacteriology, virology, parasitology, entomology, mycology, everything under microbiology bracket. You have biochemistry as a subject to choose, biostatistics as a subject to choose. You can choose veterinary science or medicine if you are from veterinary background. Public health, you can choose nursing, you can choose biotechnology, you can choose social behavioral science like anthropology, sociology or psychology. Nutrition, pharmacology and biological sciences Generally, there are many students that who are now doing MSc in biological sciences like life science or human uh, biology or environmental science or zoology, botany. They choose biological sciences as this uh, subject of interest and they get to question from their own uh, region of expertise. Now, this section C is important and this is good considering the fact that if they include everything, then it is going to be very tedious for the students to prepare. Now for this section C and subject specific approach, ICMR Brett examination becomes comparatively easier to crack than CSI net exam. Because in CSI net examination, the questions are bigger, lengthier in part C and also the chances of mistake is high. And also it has a lot of selection bias, selection pressure because you need to answer 25 questions in part C out of 75 questions and the negative marking for 4 marks question is 1. So for all these reasons, CSI net is definitely difficult than ICMR GRF, than ICMR BRET examination. ICMR BRET makes it easy because one section is kept for subject specific manner. In CSIR, for all the subjects, all the part B as well as part C, except for part A, part A is uh, aptitude reasoning, but part B and C, both are subjective means question can be there from any field of life sciences. There is no choice of subject specificity in CSI net examination where the ICMR is better because it gives you a chance to attend the question from your respective discipline so that you can score well and better uh, to get the examination, to get a score, to get a fellowship. Although in, in ICMR uh, examination earlier, the seat limit was very low, it was 150 earlier. Now it is increased to 500 candidates. While in CSIR net, it is generally 1000 to 2000 seats for GRF, for life sciences, uh, for one session. So in a year, you can count around 3000 to 4000 seats. While in ICMR, it is only 500 seats. Now, earlier it was 150 seats. So that is the overall dynamics and discipline and differences between CSIR and ICMR. But syllabus wise, if you ask me, I'd suggest very, very similar. In fact, if somebody is preparing for CSIR net, considering CSIR net syllabus in mind, that person will be well equipped to attain ICMR BRET examination as well as get life science examination. Now, if you get inside any of these subjects, microbiology, biochemistry, biostatistics, there is a detailed syllabus provided for each of this. So I'll give you one example because otherwise the video will be unnecessarily long. You can get this subject list from ICMR site. Now here, I'll just talk about biochemistry as a discipline of selection. Let's say I select biochemistry to attain the examination as a specific subject. Then what syllabus biochemistry have? Biochemistry have the syllabus Molecular interaction and structural of molecules, carbohydrates, lipids, protein, nucleic acid, vitamin, structure and use, a purpose. Then you have stabilizing forces like van der Waals forces, electrostatic interaction, hydrogen bonding, hydrophobic effects. Biophysical chemistry, pH, buffers, reaction kinetics, thermodynamics, colligative properties. Okay. Next, bioenergetics and metabolism, glycolysis oxidative phosphorylation, enzyme mechanisms and regulation, isozymes. These are something that you need to remember. Next is protein and nucleic acid conformation. Ramachandran plot, secondary and tertiary structures, helix types like helix A, B, Z, DNA types, tRNA and microRNA. Next is techniques, chromatography, electrophoresis, Spectrophotometry are the techniques you need to prepare. Metabolism of carbohydrates, lipids, amino acids, nucleotides and vitamins are conclusive of this biochemistry syllabus. So in this biochemistry, basically if you consider in CSI net syllabus, biochemistry is just one single unit that is unit 1 of our CSI net syllabus. Here biochemistry can be your overall syllabus of your subjective 
preparation for section C of DHR ICMR BRET examination. That's why it is just a fraction of the CSI net syllabus. So if someone is preparing for CSI net syllabus, that person is inevitably preparing for the uh, DHR ICMR BRET examination because it's only a chunk of the CSI net life science syllabus. But you need to prepare in depth for biochemistry. If you're choosing microbiology, prepare in depth microbiology. So choose a subject which you have done your graduation or masters that will help you. Second thing, if your subject is not in the list, you need to choose the biological sciences. For botany, zoology students, they choose biological sciences. In that case, you will get basically interdisciplinary question of biological sciences, both in section B as well as in section C. But the question's difficulty level is moderate to easy, not difficult like CSI net part C questions. So you can prepare well, you can practice well, and you can qualify this examination. Generally, this uh, DHR ICMR BRET examination form fill up starts from uh, like notification starts from June end and the whole examination conductance completed by the December end. So it takes a long time June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Just imagine six to seven month time frame for all the different phases of this examination and the examination to be completed. So all the very best if you're preparing for uh, this new syllabus, new pattern based DHR ICMR. BRET examination. If you want guidance from us, you can get our study material package. Contact the given number in this video and also visit our website www.shomosbiology.com. You'll see that we offer the study material for CSI net, but believe me, that material is not only for CSI net, it is for CSI net, it is for ICMR BRET, it is for Get Life Science. So we designed the material in such a way that it will cater all three uh, all three examinations because there are people attending all three examinations at the same time so buying one material will help you to prepare for all three examinations you don't need to buy three separate materials you need to buy only one material from us that's a self preparation kit that you can get contact us in the number via whatsapp see you there in the next video thank you